So Kyrie gets traded to the Mavs. Lincoln Nation is very upset. And I can understand why. You got a player in his prime, ready to go, championship ready, and he's not able to go to the team he's been wanting to go all year. But I'm going to tell you what Kyrie made the mistake at. He made the mistake when he admitted to everyone that he wanted to be a Lakers. He, he hung around, hung around L.A. the whole offseason, and um, he made it known that he wanted to be traded to the Lakers. So by him finally saying, you know what, I'm kind of tired. Let's see what can happen. I bet they trade me to the Lakers now if I ask for a trade. You know, the owner was going to not give him what he wanted. Oh, you want to be petty? That's basically how they looked at it. Well, we'll trade you anywhere, but we're not going to trade you where you want to go. We're not going to trade you where, we, where you want to go, and we're not going to trade you to where you can definitely get a championship. Not going to happen. And I think that's what took place. The owners say, hey, we're going to get rid of him, but we're going to send him somewhere far, and we're going to send him somewhere where he don't want to be at. And, and that was that was the case. And it's obvious. You know, they made it known. You know, you know, Lakers Nation is very upset. And it's understood why. You know, to be a fan and to look for someone that has the same motivation and looks at life the same way that, um, you know, Kobe did when he had his own beliefs and he had his own dreams and he felt a certain way about something and didn't care how you felt about it or how you viewed his opinion on things. So, of course, we were going to have a problem. Of course, we were going to have an issue. We're getting a player that has the same love for the Lakers as Kobe Bryant did. I think LeBron love is kind of towards uh, Cleveland because um, that's his home. But I do believe that he's truly in love with the Lakers, too but not as much as his love for Cleveland because that's just his hometown. You know, I haven't seen a player yet to feel for the Lakers since Kobe Bryant outside of Kyrie, just having a love for the purple and gold. And maybe that comes from Kobe being his mentor, someone that he appreciated, someone that trained him, you know, someone that made him fall more in love with basketball, um, showed him what basketball could offer on and off the court. And sometimes those things outweigh, you know, the good sometimes. And to see a player basically get thrown to the gutter, which the Mavs is an okay team, you know, and they got, I feel like, the Nets uh, face of the NBA and Luka, you know, it's nothing like being with someone that you have that chemistry, that connection with, you know, a lot of people say, wanting that old thing back. Um, Kyrie wanted that old situation back with LeBron. You got AD. That's a nice big three, right? That's a great big three. You got a nice um, bench, nice role players. Got to give them a little bit of your experience. But everybody's young enough to progress. Outside of LeBron, everybody else is at the age where they could be getting towards the point of being in their prime or getting towards the prime, uh, getting towards, you know, that time where you can say, hey, I'm progressing. Um, I'm learning more. I'm enjoying the, the experience and I'm loving the play. You know, because once you get that love for ball, all it takes at that point is you learning, progressing and figuring out your role on a team. At that point, you will build your chemistry and you guys won't have issues understanding how each other play, knowing what to look for on the basketball court. So it's a letdown, but I kind of, if, if Kyrie doesn't sign an extension with the Mavs, then that leaves the door open for the Lakers in the offseason, which I do believe will finally acquire him then. So with that being said, moving on.